I see many young people here tonight. Some of you are really attractive. And um, I want you to know when you see Milk, I was that hot. You know, for, I was for like six weeks in the mid-70s. I was hot. And, and, but I remember it, and I'm sure some of you here that are, are young and hot, um, I remember worrying about getting older. This is back in the early 70s, and I thought, well, getting old and being gay doesn't sound like much fun, you know? And I see these guys, and they've got their pot bellies and their dyed hair, and I, I think, oh, God, do I really want to be that, you know? And now I'm 54, and I've got a pot belly and dyed hair, and I want you young people to know that this was the best freaking year of my life. You know? So, you, 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 your butts will sag, your face will wrinkle, your hair will fall out, but it's not the end of the world, believe me. <laughs> and, uh, this, this past year has been you know, such an incredible gift, and uh, I think one thing I want to say is that every single person who worked on the film Milk, and I'm talking about everyone, from the Teamsters who drove our trucks, to the catering crew, the security guards, the grips and the gaffers, I still don't know what that means, but <laughs> the grips and the gaffers, and the lighting crew, and the makeup people, and the cast, and the directors, and the assistant directors, and the producers, everybody knew that they were privileged to be part of a film that mattered, that had the potential to move our country forward. And when the news came out about the nominations, I was so thrilled because that means that now millions of people are going to be able to see it on the big screen in their hometowns. And you all probably know more than I living here, you know, how the business works, but it was a very important moment for those nominations to come through. Now, I'm, I am so grateful for the explosion of anger and organizing that has come out of our defeat uh, with Prop 8. But as much as I want to encourage you tonight, I also want you to be very aware that even if Prop 8 is overturned, even if we have another initiative and, and win, we are still second-class citizens. The most significant rights that accrue to heterosexual couples through marriage are those determined by the federal government. None of those are impacted by what happens in California or Massachusetts. And now is the time. We have a historic opportunity, and we need to move forward as a national movement after federal legislation, and it's got to be not just marriage, it's got to be marriage and housing and public accommodation and adoption and immigration and taxation and social security and military service. We want nothing less than full equality in all areas governed by civil law in all 50 states and eventually in every country in this world. That is what we are fighting for. We have, we have many, many challenges ahead of us. And I, I want to talk just a, a moment about, to me, what I think is the most significant challenge and responsibility and opportunity for us as queer people. I don't know what percentage we are of the general population. You know, the Kinsey study years ago said about 10% of us, uh, you know, I think maybe, I don't know what it is. But I've heard nothing to suggest that, that per, whatever percentage we are of the general population is different from what pre percentage we are of uh, people of African descent or Asian descent or Native American descent. As we know, we exist within all of these populations. That gives us, I believe, an opportunity and a responsibility to serve as the bridge builders. Now, you've all heard what Fox News is saying. You know, they'd like nothing more than for the world to believe that black voters and Latino voters uh, deprived gay people of our rights in California. We know it's bullshit. It's bullshit. And what we have to do now is be very, very clever and real and loving and smart. And so often when we approach this issue of the, of the racial divides that fracture our country, they're so poisonous, they're so deep. And, and when, when we start to talk about it, we get overwhelmed by it. It's such a, a big, ugly part of our country. And you think, oh my God, what do I do? And those of us that are white get all guilty. And, and, and it's like, what do we do? Well, what you do is you look for that first baby step. And you take that step forward. And I think that baby step is empowering in every way possible 
our own people within the African American communities, within the Latino communities, within the Asian communities. These are our bridge builders. These are the people that we need to provide every resource available to us. And we need to look at the mechanisms for reaching those folks. And I am so proud to work for Unite Here Union because our union is unequivocally absolutely in support of full equality for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. We got worker protection for transgender employees at Disneyland. <laughs> and when you look at, at the unions, there was a very quiet, amazing milestone that happened uh, during the Prop 8 campaign when the State Federation of Labor got together in Sacramento and every labor union in the state of California without debate voted to oppose Proposition 8. And we wrote our checks and I know because I collected those checks and we turned them over and those checks were cashed but we were not involved in the field campaign. We were not involved in the community work. We were not involved in the coalition building. It's about you, real, ordinary people crossing those borders, crossing those boundaries, building those bridges. That is what Harvey Milk did. You see it in that film, it's real. That's how it works. It requires that kind of courage. And if you think you're gonna win your rights by clicking a mouse, or putting on a black tie and going to some fancy big party to buy TV spots, you are wrong. We win this by going door to door, knocking on that door and saying, I am a gay man, I am a lesbian woman, I am bisexual, I am transgender. Do not vote for this, it will hurt me. That is how we win. That is what we have to do. And it can't be just about marriage. We want it all, and we want it now. Sister Brady! Sister Brady! Sister Brady!